And we're back, everybody. We're back playing some more Paper Mario on my Nintendo Wii U. Start game with file three. Let's do it. We're back. Oh, you were not there before. Quiz. Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Sure. Then let's go to the question. Question? What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? Goombet? Goombalina? Goombaria? Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You got a star piece, bro. You've answered one question so far. Hey, y'all notice Luigi and the Koopa bro and a Koopa brother are on the far left of the audience there? Like, no, straight up, that's that's a Koopa brother. It's got the bandana mask. See that? Look at that. What's he doing there? Never noticed this until like right now. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Shush, they're on a date. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to head to the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Troopa Jr. was there. Hang on. I'm gonna buy some POW blocks to uh, easily deal with some Koopas. Oh, hang on, what do I got on me? Uh, they're right. Yeah, let's just eat this. Just munch and crunch on a dried shroom. Honey syrup. Uh, I don't really need Sleepy Sheep or the Fright Jar. Hang on, what can I sell? Welcome, this is a reliable, incredible Koopa Troopa shop. What do you want to sell? Which item do you want to sell? Uh, Fright Jar. I have two Sleepy Sheep for some reason. I don't need more than one. I might not, not even use the single one. Hope to see you again. All right. I'm gonna buy another POW block. And maybe I should take a fire flower too? Sure. Just to kind of skim through some enemies quickly. I forgot the title of the shop. Hey, we don't, you, we don't use the E word on this stream game. Why you gotta do that for? I got really gotta figure out how to disable that. Not right this second though. He's a Koopa Troopa merchant who sells good. He also checks and buys stuff. You might want to buy some stuff from him if we're going somewhere dangerous. Hmm. Boop. What word? Exactly. You're all, you all know how this works. That's good. We're going on an adventure. Whoa, Koopa! All right then, let's go ahead and give him the old jump. Head bonk him. Pow, pow. Ah, I gotta get used to timing the uh, defense, defense action. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to. I meant to switch to Goombario so I could use the hammer. Alright, there's the chug again. Boop, boop, boop. There we are. Taking him right out. Four star points. A whole lot of little nothing. Let's take this stuff right here. Oh, hang on a second. Thunderstrike, but I already have enough items. If we continue along the pass, we should reach the Koopa Brothers' fortress. Many Koopas and paratroopers live around here, but if they're loyal to Bowser, they'll definitely attack us. Cooper. Let's see, here we go. Oh my. Well, what can you do? Accept, accept it. Hang on. Was it Z button to switch? Power shell. Yeah. You can't do nothing when you're hit by the Cooper. Six star points. A whole lot of nothing. 
Mushroom. Uh... Hang on a second. Let me just use the honey syrup. Yeah, there we go. Mushroom only gives me five health. Go ahead and hit that switch. We're gonna go to the fortress, everybody. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Brothers. Yeah, that'll keep him out. Darn it. He got me in the air. Perfect. Well, that's a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with, isn't it? Well, time to slowly take him out. Hmm. Get him, Cooper. May as well just go full hand with my flower points, huh? Speed up the process. Hit him with that power shell. That's right. He is just getting blue shelled like in Mario Kart. Take that, Koopa friend. Only four. I feel like I should be getting more for these. But I will level up pretty soon, I guess. Yeah. Cooper's just, uh, chilling there. Ah. Uh. Oh. No, I don't want to pick it up. No, I don't want to pick it up. Run right away. Again, I apologize for the technical issues, but I'm I'm fully fine with it. If I if it means I get to play this game, I'm just happy to stream it. All right, here we go. Um, actually, you know what? It'd probably be easier if I just used up one of these fire flowers now, because my items are full. It's just an old console problem, you know? Don't worry about it. Get him. You need to do the action command anyway. Your cartridge is dusty. Yes, very. Close to a level up. Alright, perfect. There's a star piece there. Saving for peekaboo. Ah, I, I, I went a little too fast in there. Okay. I think I'm going to use another fire flower here because I don't feel like dealing with all these. You can finish this off, Cooper. Pop him. Thinking about it, the Wii U is a bit old, too. I mean, you could also just play the Wii... This is also on Wii Virtual Console, not just Wii U. Chat, didn't the Wii come out in, like, 2005, 2006? It's weird to think about. I remember the era of GameCube being really long, but... Dang, the GameCube was not a long era, was it? Um... I think I'll give myself, uh... HP. And then I won't upgrade HP for a while. Just says 10 is a little bit low. And I'll start upgrading badge points, because I'll start to get more badges as the game goes on. Let's see. Do... I just realized that's a jingle from Mario Brothers 3 Castle. That's cool. To the fortress. Around here. Hang on. We should bring out uh, the expert. Here's Cooper Brothers Fortress. This used to be ruined, but I guess the Cooper Brothers rebuilt it. Looks pretty huge, huh? And solid, too. This fortress was originally built around the same time the Bobombs took up residence on Pleasant Path. Whoa! Mario! What the? Oh, we're in a world of hurt, dudes. Mario's already here. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa! Alright, was there anything around here? No. Let's see. Get him. There we go. 
All right, there's Babooms here. We gotta take him out. Just power jump, get him out of the way. I don't remember how the Babooms work. They're gonna, yeah, he's gonna do this. Oh, I was not timing anything there. It's only two damage, it's not a big deal. Key. No, no, wrong thing, wrong buttons. I'm getting used to this again. It's pretty chilly inside this fortress, isn't it? Must be because there's so much water. Fortress key. Let's go. Your whole life amounted to two damage. Yep. Okay, then. I know that fire flowers instantly take them out, but... Alright, I take damage when I do that. Now I know. May as well waste a turn and tattle it. This is a babomb. Babombs are pretty temperamental. And they could and they get steaming mad when you attack them. Max HP three, attack power one, defense zero. You'd better not jump on them when they're angry, or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers. Or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge in and explode, so you better take care of them before they blow. Well, guess we're gonna about to find out if I made this defense. I did not make the defense. Can you believe I didn't time that right, chat? Can you believe I couldn't make the timing on that? I can't believe it either. You had like five seconds, man. This is gonna be this is the worst speed run you're ever gonna watch. Oh, I didn't get a chance to use my hammer there. Oh well. Hmm. I wanna be lazy. I don't wanna use a fire flower unless there's like three of them. Hang on. Do this. Thanks for the stream, Christian. Well, you're welcome. Oh yeah. As long as I can bring everyone laggy Paper Mario, it's a fun stream indeed. Let's see now. Go ahead and hit him with that again. Pow! Pow! Babooms taken down. Hooray. I'm about to get another party member soon enough. Okay, I don't have to fight every single enemy, but most of them are kind of in the way. Do 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 do. He's chatting with that Koopa. Ha! Let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Heek, Mario! You uh don't try any. You, you still never find your way through this fortress. Um, uh, looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya. Yeah, he just ignore me. He don't care. And there's a hint right there to uh, get a badge. Can he just turn sideways and flip, flip through the bars? Nah. Okay, I'll blow another fire flower here. Fire flowers are really good early on. They just let you get away with just basically cheesing the heck out of a battle quickly. They're like your best spell. Power bounce. Jump on enemy continuously until you miss an action command. That badge is like broken or something, I think. Let's attack this one. Boop. Okay. I'm just gonna take him out with power jump and let the balloon attack me to finish himself off. There we go. Get him, get him. You know, I'm reminded of something since we're talking about, uh emulation problems chat with certain video games um has anyone ever played the the zelda collector's edition on gamecube that was the that was my first experience of beating majora's mask and let me tell you that is the worst way to play majora's mask because the zelda collectors oh man that this would have been perfect for it now i'm gonna pow block watch me just blow all my items now uh, that's right. Party members can't use 
can't use items. I forgot about that. Oh well, that's fine. No, not Master Quest. Master Quest was a different thing. I'm talking about Zelda's Collector's Edition, which was a GameCube disc that, um, it had Ocarina of Time, Normal, Majora's Mask, and Zelda 1 and 2, and a demo of Wind Waker. There it is there. Yeah, the Fire Flower is more powerful, but I used it up. <laughs> I kind of regret using the Fire Flower right away. But, um, Majora's Mask... Uh, specifically only Majora's Mask on that disc, not Ocarina of Time, had a problem where the game would randomly freeze. And that happened to me a few times while playing that game. And the reason that's a bigger problem in Majora's Mask than Ocarina of Time is because of um, the way the save system works in Majora's Mask. So because like the only way to save outside of the Song of Time is the quick save statues, you'll lose so much progress if that happens to you. It, it's pretty horrible. I'm not going to run back to town and buy more items, so I'll try and just be more sparing. I want to save a POW block for the Koopa Brothers for sure, though. It was a very common. Is the 3DS version better? Well, that depends on who you ask. I like the 3DS version a lot. I think it looks great, but... Then you talk to somebody who, who watched a YouTube video about why it was bad, and then they tell you it's bad. I don't know, they changed some things. Some people didn't like changes. I, w I think saying that the game is completely ruined and unplayable on 3DS is kind of a stretch, though. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really matter too much to me because the 3DS version and the N64 version exist at the same can exist together. It's not like that Warcraft 3 remaster where they somehow managed to make the remaster affect the original game, which I can't even believe that's a thing that could even happen. Ah. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Uh, I prefer the GameCube version from what I remember. I mean, the, the GameCube version isn't a, isn't a version. It's just emulating the N64 version. It's not really... It's just a, it's just an emulated version that crashes more often. That's what the that's what the collector's edition was. Oh really? I missed that? Oh that's annoying. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to use a mushroom after this. That's fine. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it, I tell you. Um, the GameCube Collector's Edition was also the file that I 100%ed the game, meaning that I got all the heart pieces and masks. Let me tell you how tense doing the couple's mask quest was, knowing that the game could crash at any second and I had to start completely over. Should have used a mushroom. That's okay. That's alright. I know I can use Cooper's ability... Oops, I missed the timing because of lag. Chat, I'm gonna miss. T I'm gonna miss so much timing because of lag. But you know, we're gonna look at it a different way. We're gonna look at it as I'm usually so good at baby video games that this is the game giving me a challenge. I'm playing a difficulty hack. It's not. There's not. A, there's not lag. It's difficulty. Moo. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I don't need. I don't need to use power jump here. There we are. Pop. Pop. Chat, I love the N64 back in the day, but... It, it was such... It, it could be a hassle to play sometimes. A lot of times... It was one of the consoles where I constantly had to take the cartridge out and put it back in over and over and to, to make sure... To make the damn game play. There were some great games on it. The controller, going back to it, it's definitely pretty awkward. Hang on. Let me use this. See. I think most people do agree that Ocarina of Time 3D is, is incredibly faithful to the original, and that they even tried to keep in gl certain glitches in the th from the original 64 version just for fun. It's pretty cool. And 64 was weird. 
Hang on, what was in here? Frozen game. There we go. Can't get in there. I gotta enter from a different spot. In Remake, they basically just copy and pasted the original code. Yeah? I guess so. Yeah, the N64 can be unreliable to play. I believe that uh, the official statement from Nintendo was that for Ocarina of Time 3D, they fi they kept in as much glitches as they could, but they, um, they patched any glitches that were too game-breaking or made it or could potentially softlock your progress i think anyways okay this is perfect i think and the sculptura glitch which lets you just basically cheese a collectible right away i think that yeah that's what that glitch was whoa looks like mario's here mario's here dudes we gotta get out of here See now, there's boom boom wall, and out here is this. See game. See, I kind of understand why they didn't want to leave in as many glitches for Majora's Mask 3D, because because of the nature of how the game is set up with the the three day cycle. By default, any glitch just opens up so much possibility to break the game a lot more than Ocarina of Time ever could. So I definitely get why they didn't want to keep in keep in too much stuff. Let's see. Cuz Majora's Mask is can be really broken. Especially if you've ever spe seen like a speedrun of it. It it's hilarious how broken it can be. <laughs> Loser serves you right. You fell for it. Cowabunga, dude. Oh. You just stay out of the floor. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell. But aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a b bomb Pleased to meet you. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth, uncouth Koopa Brothers. I was just one of many Babombs working here. But those Koopa Brothers, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Brothers didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the Babombs because they thought they might rise up. Oh, jeez. You know, Babomb Rebellion? <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place, or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Sure. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Bombette, join the party. Press down C to make Bombette walk for a short time and explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam. Or damage enemies on the ground with her boom attack. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See, if there are any cracks in the wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, puff, take cover. Yeah, try this one that you've never thought of doing in your entire life. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route. Well, I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Teehee, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out whenever I can. Just ask and I'll be there for you. Now enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa brothers. All right then. Hang on a second. Let's uh, bring out the encyclopedia. Looks like they turned this large chamber into a prison cell. Don't worry about us, Mario. We'll find a way out. Talk to him. 
All that thinking, and I never thought of blasting the wall. You're pretty darn smart. Let's get out of here. I was sad, mad, but now glad. Freedom, yahoo! Hang on, let's let's tattle all of them. That bomb has been jailed. It seems to really just like the Koopa Brothers. Say, I wonder who will live here if we manage to boot out the Koopa Brothers. That bomb has been jailed. I wonder if they get hurt when they blow themselves up. I mean, they blow up all the time, so they must enjoy it. Once they start going, they can't stop. It blows my mind. That bomb has been jailed. The Koopa Brothers have short tempers, you think? If we had a bomb on our side during battle, it'd really catch the Koopa Brothers off guard. That bomb has been jailed. I wonder what he did. I thought that Babooms and Koopa Brothers worked together in harmony. Hmm. Let's keep going. What's all this noise? In case you Babooms forgot, it's, it's prohibited inside the fortress except in case of emergencies. Hey, what's up, bro? What in the? Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody, get him. Let's see. Bop, bop. Just go ahead and attack him with regular, regular old Goomba head bonk. Should really have Cooper for this. They've got three hit points, yeah, so... Hmm. That's fine. I can take the damage. I'll just power shell them all. I gotta use up more regular mushrooms anyway. It's only a tiny bit of damage. It's really nothing. The boom the booms aren't even a threat. Yes, 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 yes. Coins, coins, coins galore. Come on, get in there. Let's see, I gotta go all the way back to the top now. But I also have Bombet so I can open that crack. I'm trying to I always keep forgetting what button does which. Come on, open it. Refund badge. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. I mean, yeah, it's cool if I if coins were an issue. Let's get going. How do the bombs talk without mouths? I mean, I think there's a lot of other things in the Mario universe you can argue are pretty unrealistic. All right, then. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Okay. I think I'm just gonna power jump this one. Okay, now how does bomb work again? No, okay, only the first one in line, so I'll body slam this one. Body slam! It does, like, no damage! I'm just going to use my flower points and get rid of them. There we go. I just realized there's something... I, I just realized something is blocking my view of chat. And it froze in that battle after that. That's cool. I'll, I'm sure I'll figure this stuff out eventually. And we can cut down on some of the shenanigans. Hang on. Where is... Oh, I remember where the key was. That's right. I need to go back. Hang on. No, no, no. Wrong item menu. It did look like I froze because I clicked out, but it wasn't the case at all. I got Cooper here. Wait. No, no. I, uh, I need to go back up these stairs. I always get confused in this room. Because everything looks the same. Yeah, there's the key. There we go, let's get going. 
Now I gotta go through here and climb up here again. Mm. It's not too much farther in this place now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Koopa Brothers Fortress isn't a long dungeon, it's only the first one. Come on, open up. Right, this. It'd be real annoying if I fell down there. Yeah, puzzles. That's right, make it move. Hmm. That throw is just suddenly a little dry here. I'm surprised any games haven't stolen this style of game by now. Uh, they have actually. It's called Bug Fables. Oh boy, quite a few of them, huh? Do I have enough for Power Shell? No, I need three. Huh, I guess I should have bought an extra honey syrup or something. That's fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna power jump to get rid of one, one of the Koopas right away. Hey, um, I wish that would stop randomly popping up. I have no idea why it does that. Like, nothing is being disconnected, I promise you. It didn't do that last time, did it? I don't recall. It seems like there's a new problem every time I try and work with this. I should state this is my first time using uh, um, using aquatic sea mammal for streaming or recording anything. To be expected. At some point, what I'd like to do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug my brother's channel while I'm at this. Dylan's been uh, Dylan has been playing. Was it Pokemon XG, which is like a a third-party DLC of Pokemon XD. With all updated moves and everything. Yeah, thank you for the link, Minard. I want to play something like that myself eventually. Like, a full hack of the game GameCube Pokemon. Seems pretty cool. I'd like to do something like that with, like, Colosseum as well. It's been forever since I played Pokemon Colosseum. And even though those are kind of... Even though Colosseum is a little crusty compared to XD, it, it's still a fun time. Are there non-aquatic sea mammals? I mean, whatever. That's just what Dylan calls it. Let me hit that. Hack. No, we can't say the H word. It's third-party DLC. Yeah, that's right. No, I don't have a key, right? And what's Goombari have to say about this room? This fortress stays cool all the time because it's built entirely of stone. Chat, you're gonna wonder whose job it was to, um, write Goombario's tattle dialogue for every room and NPC in the entire game. And I think most players would, like, stop using Goombario with, after, by, like, by the time you get Cooper, honestly. It's, it's pretty cool that they went the effort for that. Hmm. What's a ROM? Don't be ridiculous. Isn't that one of those girls from that Hyper Dimension Neptunia game? I mean, what else, what else could you be talking about? Let's see. Here they come. Got him. Got one of them. Bombette is a very good first strike, if you can land it. Doesn't cost any flower points to do that, either. Body slam. Nice. Nice lag, bro. Talk about a real showstopper. Wasn't this game made by Intelligent Systems? Yep, yeah, Intelligent Systems made Paper Mario. And they also made Fire Emblem. Hang on a second. Got him. 
Imagine this with a fighter. Well, good thing I'm not playing a fighter. Haha, <laughs> instant win. I like how they were just Koopas sleeping in there. I should be able to get speedy spin by the end of this chapter. Hang on. Do I go all the way up first? But what's here? Oh no, there's a there's like a badge or something up here. Let me do that. Ah. He's waiting for me. Just attack him. Oh no, did Bombette get injured? Injured, can't move. What have I done? Nothing really. I'm just gonna get rid of him quickly. Let's see now. Wait a second, there were, DS there were DS versions of the Advance Wars games? I thought there was just a couple Advance Wars on Game Boy Advance, and that was it. Hence the name. I don't even know what Advance Wars is. I just know it's made by the Fire Emblem people. Is it just Fire Emblem, with, but without um, anime sword people? There's like two on DS. Oh, okay. I plan to check those games out eventually. Calabunga, dude! Well, 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 Mario! Wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far. Poof, don't get smug, pal. He just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boys! Open fire. Whoa! Oh, no. Let's take care of this rock. I think this room's gonna lag a little bit. Hey, maple syrup. You yeah, just keep going. Let's see here. There it is. We're coming right up to the boss now. <laughs> Let that one in the bottom go. Okay. Alright, there we go. Boom. Let's go ahead and just take out another one, why don't we? Mash that A button. Bet just take out this. You can, good. I'm gonna just finish it with a hammer. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes! I was real close to getting a level up before the boss fight, but no, nothing to do about there. Really should probably check. I should have an extra badge point free, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I should check that. How about that? Let's see. Badges. Yeah, I do. Just put Smash Charge on. Heal me up again. Save my game again. Just upgrade badge points after this so we can start using more variety of moves. Ah, yes. There we are. Paper Mario time! Do, 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 do. Ah, you can see Mario behind the door there. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! Ow, my shell, get off! Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally! Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Look at that. Gah-ha-ha. -ha. 
I've been waiting for you, Mario. Pwahaha. The strongest and the coolest. Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Saving Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Oh my god, it's Bowser, you guys. I can't believe it. Um, should I go for a charge or should I just attack it continuously? Does it have defense? I don't remember. It does have defense. That's annoying. I'll just attack it with this stuff then. <laughs> I am invincible. You are powerless before me. Can't stop me, bro. Tattle him. I mean, I could. Yeah. Hang on, I don't want to use all my flower points right away. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even hurt me. Change member. Goombario. Tattle him. Bowser. But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagine him looking, well, a lot scarier. Man, Goombario just throwing shade at this costume. Huh. Oh, huh. You're so weak. Oh, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Mario really thinks we're King Bowser, dude. What an idiot. Shh, Mario will hear us. All right, let's just uh, bring out Cooper. I'm just gonna do regular attacks because I uh, should be. Yeah, you can see his HP now. Ugh, you're pathetic. Are you always this weak? The sequel should be called Paper Bowser. Um, Red, we got rips in a lot of different places here. Forget about it. Mario's shaking in his boots. Let's get him. Boop, boop, boop. Get him. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even hurt me. All right, they're repeating dialogue now. Let's take him out. Oh, no! That costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. Whoa! Whoa! See the picture of Peach that was inside there? I always thought that was a nice touch. Turn the on for myself. Here for Koopa theme. Here come the Koopa Brothers! Whoa! They're gonna attack me! Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. Or, you know, I could not. Whoa, they're falling! Whoa, we're going over! But now they're not. The Koopa Brothers special super spinning attack. Whoa. Look at that attack, yo. Let's attack him now. Oh no, they're gonna fall over. Just gotta hit him one more time. Oh uh, yes, the creepy laughing that's in this in this track for some reason. Whoa, we can't get up! Help us! Help us, Mario! Oh, I'll help you, alright. One, two, three, four. Help us! We can't get up! Please, Mario, have mercy! Have mercy on us! Tattle on them? That'll just take forever. They're already gone, see? They're kind of a joke of a... They've always kind of just been a joke of a boss fight. They fall over and then they just die. Whoa! Uh, hello? Somebody let us out of here! Help, I'm a turtle and I can't get up. What's that? Could it be? That glowing light. It could only be one thing. A trading card. Whoa. The 
rare trading card. Eh, we don't need it. Just leave them there to starve. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure I'm sure they got pizza or something down there. I got Eldstar. Whoa! That's the rarest card around. You did it, everybody. I did it. What's the value of the card? Five dollars? Possibly. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa brothers at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remained imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Look at that. We did it. Save and continue. It's Peach time. Walk back and forth. Walk back and forth. I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. There's tons of guards just beyond your door. It's been possible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. How about I just go out the door anyway? What, Princess Peach? You know you're not allowed to leave the room. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take you back. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. They just throw her right on the ground. <laughs> I don't think Bowser would like that. Are you right, Princess? Did they hurt you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. It's just plain stupid. I gotta be more careful. Doesn't look like you can get through this door. You never know. Oh, look. There's something behind this drawing. Oop. Whoa, look at that. The secret exit. Yeah, cool. Now we can get out of this room. Whoa. Secret passage. It sure was nice of somebody to light the candles in here. Whoa. Look at that. Where are we? Let's see. Look at that. Hey, look at this. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Only a little. Ooh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. Listen here, you little star. I'm the ruler of this kingdom. You ain't gonna tell give me none of that sass. Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day O oh, month star sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool! I also captured the seven star spirits, so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but also a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. <laughs> Only a little more. Okay, let's continue. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. <laughs> Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ugh. What do we do? Should we read more? Yeah. Sonny. Well, the Koopa Brothers got beaten by Mario diary. He even set free the stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, ooh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins and dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. <sighs> dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert. One of the revered, one of the revered star spirits is being held there. Wait, do you think you could find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. 
Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if someone read that thing. What? What's the princess doing here? Oh, you little sneak. You read my diary, didn't you? Hello, sir. We heard your call. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. All right. All right, Clyde. We're going to do this. Once we get back to the room, remember, you toss with your forearms. Put all your strength in there. My high score is is a few feet of distance. See if you can beat it. A little sport week Koopa Patrolman play called Princess Chucking. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. On the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of you done. Thank you. Since you freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Yes, yes. You've got the power. Mario can now use Star Spirit's power in, in battle. Using the star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star powers? I know how this works. I don't need to. All right, if you say so. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you this, a star power called the star beam. The star beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario. There we go. All right, let's go. We saved everything. Let's take out uh, our friend. Here's Good Brothers Fortress used to be ruined. Fortress really built the same range. Okay, it's the same stuff. I thought it might change because uh, I've, already, uh, I've already beaten the fortress now. My health already full before? Guess it was. Let's go. Now that we've got Bombette, we can do some stuff. Get on there, mister. And what do we have up here? A little chest. Flower point plus. Excellent. Hang on, did I upgrade? I did upgrade my badge points after the Koopa Brothers fight, right? Yeah, I did. Um, what should I put on for now? Power bounce, maybe? I'm a little worried about my timing getting messed up on that, but whatever. I guess I could just put refund on for now, too. I might, tr I might think next level up, I'll also uh, increase my badge points again. Because it's more fun to be more focused on using all the different badges. Hang on a second. You're bad for fighting those guys. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore him. Bop him. Oh, no! Welcome to the void. Alone with our thoughts. Oh, there it is. Guess I should have used Cooper. Because there's Spike Goombas behind him. Let's get him. Pop, pop, pop. They only give one star point each now. Let's get him. I think I'll just keep Cooper up for now until I get uh, a chance to tattle on some more enemies. Actually, I'm going to be opening up another section of Toad Town. You know what that means, right, chat? It means I can have Goombario say some more invasive things. Here we go. Well, let's take you out. I don't think power bounce is really good while they're in the air because they have the defense. Yeah, you can't counterattack in this game. Dust in your door has added that. Have time your defense. Time your defense! That's right, fall down, mister. We got him. Gosh, do we got him. Pow, pow. One, two. Dang, they're really not even worth fighting anymore, are they? This pow block. 
think I should just try and avoid the enemies as much as I can now. Get out of here, Koopa. The Japanese version of Thousand Year Door limits which attacks you can counter. U.S. and PAL can counter all attacks. It sounds like it's one of those issues where the U.S. and European versions ended up kind of just being... What am I doing? I don't need to do that. The U.S. and European versions ended up being like an updated version of the game. Based on like reviews or something. Majora's Mask was also like that. Always remember that the Japanese version of Majora's Mask did not have, um... The Owl Statues did not let you quick save. You had you could only use the Song of Time. And, yeah. they did That was something that they added just, just for outside of Japan. Hang on, I think Power Shell would be great here. I can't imagine playing Majora's Mask like that. I don't think I ever would have finished it, if that's how it was. Yeah, they fi did they fix a lot of issues in the PAL, in the PAL US version of uh, Mario Sunshine? What, what bugs were in that? Or design choices? Or features? I got hit again. Whatever. Bop them. Get him. Boop. Boop. Charge up the shell. Unleash it. I don't think adding the owl statues made the game easier. It made it so you could turn the game off when you actually wanted. Can you imagine of not being able to turn off Majora's Mask unless you unless you use the Song of Time? That would be, like, the most obnoxious thing ever. I wouldn't even want to play the game if that's how it was like. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm not playing this game now. Like, the owl statues just let you make a quick save. They don't, like, increase your attack power or anything like that. Pretty sure the owl statues were just for, uh, quick war- or er, fast travel before. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. I forgot about this encounter. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Yeah. You all right there, pal? Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who's this crazy guy? What a nut. Shut up. You, Mario. Of course you remember me. Who are you again? What? Darn it. You don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. My name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Egg boy. He died and he came back from the dead. Get ready to hurt Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. Whoa! Yeah, check it out. you never seen anything like this before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Are they? That's right, I'm charging up, baby. I'm gonna get ya. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Ooh. Just gonna go ahead and hit him right there. There we are. And I'm gonna go one more charge. I'm gonna hit him hard. I'm pretty sure these stack. Are you ready, Junior Troopa? Unleash the hammer! And he's gone. Youch! Who knew that Mario had such battle skills? Sure, it's not over yet, though. Yeah! He's still kicking. Seven damage, you monster. 
I know, I'm evil, aren't I? He just broke his skull. He shouldn't have that much left. Oh, I guess he's still going. Okay, this turn for sure has to finish him. Really? Really? Finally! Big number. You got 20 star points, baby. Who is this guy? Who is this guy anyway? I don't know. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! I'm gonna tattle him, don't worry, I know. Oops. That's Junior Troopa. He used to boot us out of the forest near Goomba Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. Okay. Interesting. Thanks for sh ordering stuff by mail. What does he order? Christian, stop. He's already dead. Mario! Where's that happy music coming from? Mario! Mario! It's me! Remember me? Who are you again? I heard you save the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Brothers. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I came bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. She went down a hallway. Don't... You're overselling it, boy. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Alright. Chapter 2 is a long chapter. I don't remember it being super long. But then again, all the chapters... I wouldn't say any of the chapters are necessarily short. I haven't really gone in the post office yet, have I? Let me do that. Yes, hello there. This is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or your other party members. Please drop by every now and then check to see if you've received mail. Well, uh... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Uh, from Goombario? Red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and showed us that being good is, in, is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba brothers. Do I can need more letters? Yeah, sure. Colorado's wife. Sending letters to Cooper. There you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh, yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. That's her official name that has to be written on letters, by the way. Her name is just Colorado's wife. I'll keep letters for you. Come anytime. Oh, hang on a second. I should have used Tattle on him. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. This paratrooper looks extremely serious and stubborn and hard-headed. If you have a letter coming, he'll give it to you. I wonder if he has one for me. All right, then. Legal name change. I guess it was lucky they got married. Yeah, that is pretty, that is pretty helpful. Let's see. Now, the southern part of town should be open. But there's also this, yeah. Hey, mister. My dad's opened a shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. Oh, yeah. We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look. Speedy spin. Uh-huh. I knew it, Mario. 
I knew you had a keen eye for badges. That's a good one. You need 50 coins for speedy spin. Badge point E is one. Would you like to buy it? Yes, sure. -y. Chain of stock of badges. Let's see, D down, pound, disables an enemy's defense power and ignores it. Multi bounce, jumps on all enemies in a row with the action command. I don't think I need these right now. Maybe I should just. Nah, not right now. Gonna cost all my money. Uh, I should put this on. Speedy spin is pretty much mandatory when you play this game. Just take off refund because I didn't want that anyway. Now I'm gonna see if I have enough star. Uh, I can go trade uh, star pieces with Merlo. Hang on. It was 10 star pieces I need? I have 8. I don't have enough. I can't get peekaboo. Speedy speed spin. Speed speed lava. And here we are. New part of town. When I grow up, I'm gonna learn to be a train conductor. Train conductors are so cool. Station stop. All aboard. He always talks about what he wants to be when he grows up. He's constantly changing his goals. I guess that's natural. It's good to have a dream to chase, don't you think? I have a couple dreams. I'm living one of them right now. Who would have thought I'd actually have an adventure with Mario? All right. Doesn't something smell good? Taste Tea lives in this house. She's an incredibly good cook. She just taught me the recipe for delicious fried shroom. You make it with a mushroom. Someday if I keep practicing, maybe I'll become a master chef. Oops. Hang on, I press down, come on. She worships Taste Tea because she really loves to cook. She She's usually right here. I guess she's kind of Taste Tea's cooking apprentice right now. My mother also admires Taste Tea. She always says that she wants to learn how to cook from her. Dry, dry desert is huge. Wherever you go, all you can see is sand. Many a wanderer, many a wanderer have got, many a wanderer has gotten lost. That sentence sounds a little weird, so travelers should use extreme caution. Oh, and you should avoid any whirlwinds you see. According to my sources, if you get close to a whirlwind, it'll blow you far away. Chances are you'll get lost. This toad is pretty smart. Whenever he gets all his information. There's a rumor that this is the toad who writes the Toad Town Times. There's also a rumor that Luigi is the one that who writes it. I wonder which rumor is true. Okay. Toad Town Station is just south of here. The train there is only way to reach Dry Dry Desert. You aren't thinking of going to the desert, are you, Mario? Be careful if you do. This toad is diligent and very hardworking. He has a great work, work e ethic. I heard he has a bit of a crush on Merlovely, who lives on Shooting Star Summits. Okay. Random, that's pretty random information. Puff. Well, hello there. My name is Babulb. I come from Flower Fields, a wonderful land of flowers. I love to spread the wondrous flowers and flower fields all over your land. If you like flowers, of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. Magical seed. That is a flower seed. If it's well cared for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These fields, flowers are delicate. Only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. Oh, a babalb. Talking flowers seem weird. Didn't I hear that Babalbs live in flower fields? Hmm. What about here? Can I not go forward right now, I think? No, they let me go forward, but I don't need to go here. Beyond here lies dark and gloomy forever forest. You'll get lost for sure, so I advise you not to enter. This toad guards the path of forever forest. He looks timid. Isn't that a bad trait in a guard? Not only does he scare easily, I hear that he's especially afraid of ghosts. Seeing as Forever Forest is supposedly haunted, he must be completely freaked out. That's great. Is there anything in here? Seems like a perfect spot to hide an item. I like how the toad just wields a spear. Can you imagine the toad actually using that to hurt somebody? I can't. private. The sewers. The sewers, baby. The sewers. 
People say that there's a big dangerous creature living deep inside that pipe over there. But when people tell you not to go in, it kind of makes you want to even more. Of course, you'll be alright if you carry lots of items. Probably. This toad is constantly running his mouth. When I'm with Guma, he boasts about his pet a lot. He's a huge gossip. You can't believe everything he says. Alright. We're learning a lot about Toad Town here. Mario, Mario, Mario. Have you ever met Mer Lovely of Shooting Star Summit? That lady, she's so lovely and mysterious. I'm crazy for her. I heard that her hobby is cultivating bonsai trees. Maybe I should try that too. By the way, did you know that Mer Lovely has a twin sister? Her sister must be really gorgeous and charming too. Okay, bro. This toad can't keep his mouth shut. He's an incurable gossip. I have to wonder what he says behind our backs. To be honest, I'd love to find out. All right. I, I forgot to check the back of the town board. That changes every chapter, I believe, so I should do, go do that. Let's see. Oh, there's Chuck Quizmo again. The train parked at the station of the south is pretty spiffy. It's called K-64. Unfortunately, a huge boulder has fallen on the track and the train can't go anywhere. Talk about a crying shame, railroad lover. I hit the wrong button every time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't hit the right button. He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute. All right, Gumbario. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Gumbario is growing up over this adventure, isn't he? At first, at, at first time we met him, he's like, ew, girls are icky. And then he sees Mer Lovely, and he's like, man, I wish this girl would stomp on me. And there's Koopa Brother in the audience again. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer? Yellow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh boy, correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. One more and I can make the, um... Two questions so far. There are 64 star pieces you have to get from this guy for 100%, and I do not recommend trying to do it, because it's really boring. You can only find so many by just playing the game normally. Eventually, you just have to farm him, and it's ridiculous. Okay, there's another item shop on the other side of town, if I, I believe. But we have to talk to people. Oh my goodness, it's Mario! My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy-giving dishes. Would you like me to cook something? Yeah, sure. How about a mushroom? That's right. Then I shall cook a mushroom. Yes. I'll whip something special up just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Tra-la-la-la-la. -la -la -la. Oh, boy. Here you are. Recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Language. Did I say something? Did I say a bad word by accident, chat? I should tattle here. She's tasty. By far the greatest cook around. Trust me, my mom is a really great cook. But even she admits she could learn a thing or two from tasty. Oh, not me. Okay. Tasty will cook you if you take ingredients. Come on, let's ask her. Her cooking a mushroom is cannibalism. Alright, you heard it here first, chat. Won't open. It's locked from the inside. Let's go over here. This is where the pier is, I believe? No, it's a little further, but... Oh, this guy. I know this guy. Yo, little man. My name's... Chet Rippo. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your stats? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you do. It's usually, uh... 390 coins, but for you, and only you, I'll do it for 39 coins. You give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, flower points, or badge points. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want to do it. So this guy is a trick. What happens is, I believe if you upgrade, you can, um... He upgrades one of the, your stats that you pick, but he lowers one of them. So essentially, he gives you the benefit of a level up, but also removing... Uh, the benefit of a level up on another stat. Too bad, you're lost another time. He claims that he can upgrade your point levels, but there's something suspicious about him. I don't know, I just don't trust him. Who knows, though, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. 
It's like a weird platypus thing. If you want to get to dry, dry desert, take the drain, tain, er, <laughs> okay, let's try the word again, Christian. Take the train from Toad Town Station. You got that? Or you dig? I think this toad is a guide. He wants to be a tour conductor, whenever that is. He's also interested in unique shops and items. Oh, look at that. No wonder he hangs around with that fella. Oh, look. Toad kids. Here comes Red Ranger T. Pow. Here comes Yellow Ranger T. Boom. Here comes Green Ranger T. Donk. Look, look, Mario. We three are heroes like you. He's a toad kid who follows the other two. He's a little bit shy. When they pick on him, though, he always fights back and he never, ever loses. Despite that, I think those three are really good friends. They're just some toad children having a good time outdoors. You have to be careful when, you're, when they're quiet. You know, kids, they're probably up to some mischief. Look at these cheerful kids. Everything is just fun and games to them. Boy, I feel like a grown-up when I look at kids having such carefree fun. Okay. Do you know Postman Paracary? He delivers letters to many towns in the Mushroom Kingdom. But he's easily distracted, so more often than not, the mail runs a little slow. He must be like, what, the uh, fathers of them? He's part of the Great Gossip Trio. I wonder how they keep on top of it all. So much gossip. I'd say your name comes up pretty often, Mario. This is the residential area of Toad Town. Mostly homes. There's also a shop. For Toad Town, this area is pretty quiet. I wasn't, wasn't near him enough. He's part of the Great Gossip Trio. Wonder when they're gonna get bored with all those rumors. He's part of the Great Gossip Trio. We can't get enough gossip. They've dedicated their lives to listening to gossip so they should know everything. Well, that's great. This neighborhood is the quietest place in Toad Town. That's why I often come here to walk and think. Oh, I try to put on a glad face. The castle won't come back just because we stay home and mope, will it? She's always taking a walk around here. She's elegant, don't you think? She's almost too nice to be really elegant, though. Maybe she needs to learn to be more snobby. Then she'd seem really elegant. Okay, mister. That's a little creepy. I've heard a rumor about this great big hidden ruin somewhere in Dry Dry Desert, but... I don't believe it. Well, I've never seen it. I'll see it with my own eyes, then I'll believe it. This guy is pretty wary. He doesn't believe most of the rumors that people spread. But he wants attention, so he listens well and keeps the rumors alive. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Go to the next chapter. Let me buy some items first, actually. Let's see, just regular Thunder Strike. Thunder Rage. I'll buy two of those. Uh, I don't need to do anything else there. Let's just go. Wish I could buy a Fire Flower. Probably could at the other shop. We can tattle the other toads another time. There's a little too much toads. Get going. Let's see, the southern part of town. Is where the little, little oinks are. Okay, let's talk to... Let's check out these, uh... Dang, there's still a lot of toads down here, ain't there? I'm gonna have to talk to them. What up, Mario? Like slides? The slides on Mount Rugged are the coolest. Yeah, some are kitty-sized, but they're also huge ones that launch you way out. I'm gonna go there again. These toad kids always seem to be together. They share all their secrets with each other. They're really good friends. A wholesome. This toad kid acts like an adult. He's always talking about his travels. His favorite trip so far has been on Dry Dry Railroad. Railroad. Okay. Mario, you do keep a good supply of items on hand, don't you? If you get attacked when you have nothing, you'll be in a pretty tight fix, huh? My advice is, whenever you're going on a long journey, you should stop by a shop and load up on supplies. She's a very caring toad. Just by the way she talks, I get the sense that she's generous and carefree. We can't work because Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, I guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us. Oh, yeah, that's not a positive. At first I said, let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but... Eventually I came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train can't move. Great. 
Our first stop was going by the desert town. I wish we could go right now. This toad is one of the most one of the castle maids. She's always been very curious. I wonder what kind of trip they're taking. It's definitely not going to be as difficult as our journey, but I'm kind of curious. This toad is one of the castle maids. We're traveling together. They're quite good friends. I've never seen them apart. This toad is one of the castle maids. Seeing as the castle is up and disappeared, I guess they've decided to take a holiday. Traveling does have a way of refreshing the body and mind. Our boss is probably dead. We could just take a break. Yeah, we can. Why wouldn't we? All right, actually, let's actually go to Mount Rug now. I, can, I don't have time to talk about every dang toad. Oh, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard. This train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming? Yes, I am. The train is about to depart. Please board quickly. Let's get going. Sit tight, folks. We're departing for Mount Rugged. Oh, boy. I mean, what else are they going to do? They just seem very excited to go on a holiday. It's like, well, we can't go to work. Time to blow all our savings. Do they even care about the princess? Probably not. We're on a choo-choo train. Look at that. Can I skip this? I don't think I can. I gotta watch the train cinematic for some reason. I have not heard rugged pronounced like that. Is it rugged or rugged? Do I do I care? Not really. The mystery of dry, dry ruins. That's trained from Mario 60 Kart 64. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. Rugged. There we are. Mount Rugged. Mount Rugged. Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged during the station. All right. Well, I can start using Tattle on the toads around here again since... There's not going to be as many of them. Let's see. Train's running again. Phew, about time. I can finally go back to Toad Town. This toad works at the local travel agency. It's called Toad Town Tours. They like to personally inspect sites for future tours. I wonder what people could possibly want to see in the desert or on Mount Rugged. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you'll have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboards so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here. Yeah. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If things are looking desperate, you better run away really fast. At least I would. A dryite. He hangs around the station. I've never heard them say that. I almost That almost sounds like he's making... He's, he's insulting him. He must like traveling by train, I guess. Anything in here? Oh, you got an egg. Just just take an unknown egg, why don't you? It's a combination of dry and hermite. All right. Hello, Toad. I saw a creature called a wacka on Mount Rugged. It was ex it was extra cute. see. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Let's see. Let's get going. That block, Mario. I have super healed. Ah! No! Confound it. Where could it be? Wait, did I not tattle the toad down there? Oh, well. Oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are! You're THE Mario! Hello there! The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the lost letter. And wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. 
So I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Yeah, thoroughly as you walk back and forth. He's Paracary, a paratrooper who delivers letters. He's got some problems. It must be nice to have wings. He can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say that if you help someone in trouble, good things will happen to you. You know, karma. What? You've never heard that? Well, I'm gonna have to do that. We gotta find the letters. Not today. Moles! I don't really need to do anything like that. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, they got 4 HP at least. Ah. Really should have Cooper out for these things. One, two, three, four. Got him. Gosh darn it. Got another one. I don't give a whole lot of experience, but I'm more than halfway there. There we are. Three, five, blah, 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 six. I guess I'll take the sleepy thing. I never really use it, though. Hey, look who it is! Whack, whack a who. I'm Wacka. Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Whack a do. He's a Wacka. When you hit Wackas, they get bumps that fall off. I heard that they're yummy. You know, I'm not normally into hitting Wackas, but once I heard of their tasty bumps, I got the urge to whack them. No. There will be no Wacka bullying in this playthrough. And the game has punished me for my de de my decision. Okay, Goombario. I really should just take Cooper out, but first, uh... Watch out for the sneaky Monty Moles that are common to this area. They're dirty fighters. They pop up from underground and chuck rocks at people. The cowards. You made the first strike, yo. Only one damage, but that's fine. I'm gonna just power jump the one back here. And, let's see... Yeah, they got 3 HP. 69! Okay, that's one. I need to find three letters in order to get Paracarry to join me. I hate these things. Just charge for now. I think two turns of charging should do it. Darn. Might be a little overkill, but whatever. We can change member. Hang on. Just gonna tattle this one while I can. This is a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you better be careful. Attack power 2, defense power 2. Their specialty is pretending to be rocks, so watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the spikes on their head. You know there's courage in running away sometimes. Only two, wait. Only two! Okay. Thought they had like three or four. But it's gone now. Do I still have. I could have just used a Thunder's Rage as well, but it doesn't matter. I'm trying to open the menu here. Egg. Let's see, six HP and two flower points. That sounds like pretty good right now. Let's do that. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't want to do that. I need Paracarry to get that Bulb Seed. Hang on, I wonder. Can I finish it with a single first strike of Bomb? Let's see, come on. Get me a little closer. Darn it! I got hit. I got hit, everybody. I'm just gonna use Pow Block. Pretty sure these ignore defense. Yeah! Six star points. No, the coins. Give me them back. Let's go. Is it still there? Hang on. I'm trying to hit it with a fir first bomb strike. Darn it, seriously? Come on. Got it. There we go. It's basically just a free bomb attack without flower points if you can land it. And I'll just uh, use regular attacks. Bomb bet can finish it. Well, who cares? Who cares about no action commands? Just hit it. Five. Alright, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hmm. Game uh, took its sweet time there. Did it. Down here, I think, is where another letter... Oh, there's a star piece there. Hang on, I know how to get that. Yeah, there we go. I have enough for peekaboo now, but I'm not gonna go pick that up until after um, I'm done this entire chapter. Alright, let's see here. I think I just do this here. Wee! Got him. Perfect. Just use regular attacks and finish the next one next turn. Darn. Goodbye, Mr. Mole. Oop. I didn't need to charge it, but I felt like that felt like at that time. All right, getting pretty close to a level up. Um, so right now, hang on, how much badge points do I have? Six? What, what's occupied? I have zero available. So you don't really get a whole lot of badges. I'm thinking next level up, what I should do right now, I'll upgrade flower points, and then the one after that, I'll, um, I'll upgrade badge points again. Because right now I want to have the flower points to actually use the stuff I have. Got him. Uh, just chugging along there, friend. I love when I level up, I get full health anyway, so I may as well just use a power jump for uh, do it quickly. I'll be leveling up quickly. And I get a couple fire points back for that. It's nice. Free shroom. Got two letters now, right? So let's see here. Oh, can I go in there? Not very far. Nope. Open the chest, Mario. Open the chest. Damage dodge. If you do an action command, Mario's damaging. Okay, that's definitely something I want to put on. It probably costs like two or something, though. Oh, three. That's an entire level up for that skill. Um, you know what? I think I'll upgrade badge points again just for that. Because that's basically, if I get the action command, I get to negate two points of damage instead of one. 
Um, so what am I looking for right now? Maple syrup, or honey syrup. The slide is, just takes you back down and gives you coins for this port right now. You no, know, it pops you over here, which gives me what? Oh, there it is. There. That's all three letters. But I think there was still something I could grab over here. No, not the moles. Well, all right then. May as well get my level up here. Go boomed. Okay, flower points will be next time. Separate this for now. Badges, boop, 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 boop. damage dodge. Let's see, uh oh. There's a star piece. Uh oh. Mario thinned out of existence. I need para carry to get over there. That's kind of a hassle to come all the way back here just for that, though. Especially since this isn't a uh, 100% run. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got all of, um, I got all three letters, so I just have to go see Paracarry now. Oh, come on. Now, well, let's see. One, two, three, boop! There we go. Damage dodge, baby. Dang it. Damage, not dodge, baby. Let's get him again. Free six star points. It's fine. It's something. It's good. Free flower point. Oh, really? That one got me? Ah. All right, fine then, pal. I'll just finish you off quickly. I'm gonna whack these moles. Ah. The timing on that rock feels weird compared to other attacks. Yeah, thanks for the slight raid there, man. And resubbing. Raid. Shadow Legends. Very easy joke. I'm sure I'm, I'm I'm sure I'm not the first to make it. Let's let's leave the moles alone. I don't need that slide. Your jokes are horrible today. They're always horrible. Wait, what? Didn't I pick up three of these? Oh, that's the one. Oh, thanks for finding them. So relieved. Um, actually, I was looking for two other lost letters. Wasn't my fault, really. Could you find them? Didn't I pick up? I didn't drop one. That's one of the letters I dropped by accident. I'm really scouring the area here. I haven't had much luck. One more letter, please. I really need it. I could have sworn I picked up three, didn't I? I could have sworn I did. It's a key item. It's not like I drop it on my own. That's strange. Well, I guess I have to head all the way back here. I could have sworn I picked up three. I guess I didn't. It's probably at the very far end before you reach the part you can't... Hmm. I thought you did too. Well, let's... Oh, well, all that... Obviously, I didn't. Down here? There it is. Yeah, I just didn't pick it up. Now, why did I think I had three of them? Oh, well. Yeah, I can't go over here without Paracarry's ability. I guess I just thought I did. Obviously. I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna get hurt! I'm gonna take damage! Damage! 
Charge it up. Aw, oh, the lag cost me my damage dodge. One, two, three, boop! That clef just got booped out of existence. You know, it's kind of weird to think about... The, why is it that the clefs are like, um... They're a Mario enemy that only exists in Paper Mario, aren't don't they? Don't think they, they've appeared anywhere else, as far as I'm aware. Oh no. I'm gonna get into a battle. Do 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 this game can't run properly. Just finish it off. Shell toss, baby. Pow. There we go. Pow. Pow. And he goes bye-bye. Seventeen. Number seventeen. Maple syrup. Uh-oh. Well, I don't want the sleepy sheep. How about that? Let's make a save in case things... All that matters is the game ain't crashing. If it works, it works. There you go. Here's the last one. Can we be friends now? The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I lost. Today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your health. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped them all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Yeah, sure. Oh, praise the stars. I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. Eric, Harry, join your party. Press down C to make him carry Mario and fly a short time. Whoa. I don't know anything about a new Raymond game, because I kind of don't care about Raymond at all. While in battle, he can attack with Skydive or smash the enemies using Shell Shot. Whoa. Onward. Oh, but hey, uh, but by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, all right? All right, we did it. There we go. I can't go over here. I know there's an upgrade block somewhere here. I'm pretty sure it's just with it. I need that the uh, the level two job for the or level two hammer for that, don't I? Uh oh, let's not go there. There we are. Do my job for me, Mario. When you're an RPG protagonist, everybody wants you to do your job. Do your job for them. That's the curse. Get up there. Boop, 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 boop. Carry me, para carry. You got a quake hammer. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground. Hooray. Now we're gonna get going. Next part of the game is just up ahead. Cross the bridge. That's gone. I'm gonna my health like. No, 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 not that. Yeah, I'm full health. I'm good. Hey there. Hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I seen you somewhere. I don't remember him having a southern accent like this. Who are you? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very similar. You look a lot like this fella here, Mario, who's on Bowser's wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Now, if you say Luigi, you can technically pass here without having to fight him at all, but I want the experience, so I'm just gonna tell him straight up, I'm Mario. 
Mario, well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. If you're Mario, I reckon I gotta bust you up. Mm, come on here, real partner. I'm gonna rustle me up some, uh, some, some fights. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, well, let's take him out. Oh, really? The lag messed me up bad there. There we go. He hurt my partner. He hurt my partner. When the enemies are are kind of elevated, it makes it harder to do time uh, the the jump commands. That's why I'm not using the other other attack because I don't trust myself to be able to land it. Yeah, that's right. You didn't get me. I think shell shot cost way too much. Three flower points. Got him. Dive kick. Darn. Okay. Let's eat some honey. Mm, I'm gonna get your showery arse there, son. Got him. Yeah, I wasn't getting that. Oh man, four damage? What am I gonna do? Hang on, let's see if this finishes him off first. He's a big target. Strikes all enemies. Okay, so I might want to save that. Thunderbolt hits one enemy, so let me just use this up on him. Oh man, I'm in danger. I gotta heal up. I should eat myself an egg in these trying times. Clean out that inventory a bit. Got him. Oh, I messed up. I tried to get it. I tried to hold it in a way where I could just super. Uh, super press the A button, but I messed it up horribly. Um, I'm just gonna use Refresh, and then Paracarry can Shell Shot next turn. Boop, 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 ba -doop, boop, 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 boop. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So there we go. There we go. 15 star points. Man, that's got nothing. Yeah, well, I got whooped. And he's gone forever. Goombario, man. Whoa, we're pretty high up. Oh, I feel a little faint. I never told you this before, but I have a fear of heights. But well, we're learning things about Goombario, chat. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Check out the desert. This is the gateway between Mount Rugged and Dry Dry Desert. If we head due east from here, we'll eventually reach the town called Dry Dry Outpost. All right. Go ahead and hit the save block there. Head on in here. Hello there. Colorado is searching out mysteries as usual. He seems to be looking for ruins here. My yes, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado, and I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. And at the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find some Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having very little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden. We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now, we're waiting on the guy who hiked over Dry Dry Outposts to try and bring back some information. Did you know the people at Dry Dry Outposts are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? What a cool thought, huh? People have been living here watching over the ruins for many generations. To get to the desert town, Dry Dry Outposts, just go due east on this path. Hey, be careful not to stray from the path if I were you. You may find some trouble, and you'll definitely get lost. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. This is Koopa Troopa from the excavation team. The team is assisting Colorado. 
Looks like hard work. I wouldn't want to do it. Doing chores in this heat. Ugh. Troopa Troopa from the excavation team. The team is assisting Colorado. People say the excavations are about as boring as you can imagine until you find something. I bet that's true. He's an archaeologist, Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. He's wild about treasures and ancient secrets, so he's always taking off around the world on some adventure. All right, well, neat, neat, that's fun. All right. Bandits in the desert. You just keep going down the path and you can reach Dry Dry Outpost easily. This desert is actually pretty huge and it's easy to get lost. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at path's end. He's a nomad nomadi mouse. It looks like he's in mid-journey. I bet he has some amazing stories to tell. It's like a 5x5 five five grid, kinda, yeah. Wondering no Matty Mouse from the world. So, it's no responsibilities. So lucky. Let's see. Can I hit these trees here? The bandits are coming. The bandits are coming. They're gonna get me in the desert. Now, alright. Here it is. Now, that's the entrance of the town, but if I go one, if I go one tile south... Or no, I think it's two tiles south. Yeah, here it is. I'll get that item after. I find the oasis. And I need this. A lime. And lemon. Let's see. And then there's this. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. Party member will also master a new ability. What do you want to upgrade? Goombario, of course. Do you upgrade this party member? Yes, I do. Goombario has upgraded the super rank. He's super tattleable. Super Goombario. All right, now let's go actually go to Dry Dry Outpost now. It was just a coin. Now we can super tattle. What does he say about this? Just see, here's the desert town, Dry Dry Outpost. We better remember how to get back here. Does he have like unique tattle for every square of the desert as well? Look, Mario, there's actually some grass growing around here. Yeah, I think he does. Goombario emote when? Oh, maybe one day. Oh, it's Chuck Quizmo again. Let's do this. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Yes, sir. -y. Let's go to the question. Question. What ability does Goombario quick frequently use? I know this one. I can't possibly get that one wrong. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Well, so long. Farewell. Welcome, travelers. You must have had a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. My staff is the leader of this entire town, so uh, keep that in mind. Although, you probably won't ever see him. He's a nomadic mouse who lives in this town. He seems to pay special attention to strangers like us. He belongs to some kind of shady organization. That organization rules Dry Dry Outpost. So mysterious and dangerous, I can feel my skin crawling. Mario, isn't this exciting? Okay. Master Mustafa is the man. Man, yeah. Or main man. Mr. M Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man. Oh! Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. That's a that's dryite. The wind out here in the desert is full of stinging sand, so he protects himself by wrapping his face in a cloth. 
Since their faces are covered, it's tough to tell them Okay, Mark. Pretty sure they're all adults, though. Is he dry yet? I've seen him in Toad Town. He earned himself a degree at Toad Town Dojo. Really? Interesting. What are you all about? Are you aware that there's a dojo in Toad Town? There is! A while ago! I took one of the dojo challenges, did pretty well. I got the second degree card. You look pretty strong, so, huh? You haven't earned any cards? No, I haven't. Look at that mouse go. What's he up to? What's he doing? Talk to him. Talk to him, Jesus. Have you seen the old fortune teller in Toad Town? He's always right, so his fortune telling is famous. If you get trouble in the middle of your adventure, it'd be a good idea to see him. This dryad has been seen in Toad Town. Why does he look like he's worried about something? Whatever I worried, my Goomba always told me. Goomba always told me. When you're feeling lost, ask Merlin to show the way. Merlin's fortune telling is surprisingly accurate. All right. What's in here? Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something hidden. I'm not sure how to find it exactly. However, you should go there. Yeah. Hey, want to hear something else? I know lots of other useful stuff. Hey, did you know? The desert is dangerous. If you get caught in a desert whirlwind, it'll blow you away and you get lost. Bandits are out there, too. They appear all of a sudden running really fast, and they steal people's coins. There are many tales. You'd better pay attention to them, too, because the desert is unforgiving. Hey, want to hear more? These riots look like they have big heads because they're, he because they're wrapped in cloth. It's hard to tell them parts so we can only see their eyes. Okay, Goombario. Let's see here. Are you from Toad Town? Wow, that's a ways away. Dry, dry ruins? Nope, never heard of it. Sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, if you're serious about looking for dry, dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in town and swaps information for items or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend, this guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. Oh, he moves away from me when I talk to him. Striat's really quiet. He's shy, I guess. But, uh, I don't see any reason for him to be so timid. Striat's look like the heat doesn't even bother them. Wonder why. I'm boiling. They're all wrapped up in, clo in clothes. What gives? Maybe it's because their clothes are wrapped loosely. I could use some threads like that. He's a shy guy, is what he really is. The item shop's not needed right now. Who are you? Hmm, are you addressing me? A composer I am, writing songs? Well, I try. Ah, I wish I could find some lovely, heart-moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with, filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. He's a toad in the desert? Sorry, this guy's music moved me to song. How about some karaoke? Just joking. This composer seems pretty jolly, doesn't he? Makes me want to dance. I don't remember there being a composer. What's this unique-looking toad doing here? Let's look around here. I heard that this town was originally founded by thieves from the desert. It's a pretty mysterious town, don't you think? There are all kinds of stories and legends about this place. The residents here love all those old tales. A uh, brother and sister who are very close live atop Shooting Star Summit. The brother Merlot collects star pieces and will trade badges for them. His name is Beethoven. <laughs> Beethoven. Totzart. <laughs> uh, um, Sister Merlovely is a fortune teller who will tell you where to find badges. This dryad has seen, been to Shooting Star Summit. I bet he was pretty impressed and cold. Hey, hello. I'm assistant archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to activate uh, Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. This is Koopa Troopa from the excavation team. The team assist in Colorado. Looks like hard work. Doing chores in this heat? Ugh. Isn't that exactly what it said about another one of them? Anyways. Long ago in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. King, King Mousta ruled over it. 
One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects, and the uprising that followed Dry Dry Kingdom was ruined. King Mausta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defended and defeated his betrayers. King Mausta's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Whoa. He's no Maddie Mouse who looks likes telling old tales. He knows much of the history of this town. The legend surrounding this town is very mysterious. I wish my hometown had such a cool legend, then I could act mysterious. Alright. I can't enter this place here. Hang on. Go back here. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it also is unpredictable. He's a Matty Mouse who never strays from the back street of Dry Dry Outpost. He loves to stay near the lovely wizard. Ah, a rival for her affections. Okay, just joking. He's obviously fond of Merle. Maybe he just doesn't have anywhere better to go. He's always just sitting there. There's no reason to move. His beloved is here. Okay, he's a stalker. That's how it works. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see. That's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Yeah, sure. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick one just now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. Petite course. I'm... You know what? Let's go all in. Well, well, we're ready. Tally-ho. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Shuffle the deck. Shuffle the cards. Ooh, look at that. How does her spells work? I have no idea. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light you in your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. She's a wizard, Merle. She casts spells. If you let her cast a spell on you, it may affect you in battle. She's one of a pair of twins. The other is Mer Lovely from Shooting Star Summit. When I look at a woman as beautiful as this, it makes me feel all strange. Okay, Goombario. We're learning things about Goombario. He's not just the basic Goomba in a hat that everyone likes to pretend he is. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. You want a lemon? Oh, heavenly. A lemon. The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. Um... How to see Mostafa. There we go. To find Mr. Mostafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember, dried shroom first, then dry, then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, you understand? Enough. Goodbye. Gumbario's just really into witch girls. I mean, hey, that's not a bad taste to have. This is chic. You think, you'd think the guy could shake the dust from his clothes. If I didn't know he was an information trader, I'd say we should steer clear of him. Still, he's our best source for gossip. As adventurers, we have to deal with all kinds. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Dry Dry Outpost was built by robbers long ago. You know, the boss of the robbers was the descendant of a king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now, the descendant of that boss hides in this town and keeps the ruins safe from prying eyes. That's a dryite. 
This guy looks to be pretty easygoing. Who could be easygoing in this heat? I'm cooking. I heard that an archaeologist named Colorado is around here looking for the ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, he won't find them. It's a dryite. It's hard to tell whether he's old or young because of that cloth wrapped around his face. What do you think? Young or old? I'm betting young. Alright. That's the toad house right there. Do I need that? You never really need to use the toad house, but you can check them. Tattles. He's a toad. He was sent here from Princess Peach's castle. I tell you, there's nothing like a quick, refreshing nap. Plus, it's free. Alright, then. Cooked Goomba. Let me in. The door's already open. Alright, then. I tried to buy a game and Paper Mario crashed. Buy a dried shroom and a dusty hammer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother. Good to meet you. Have any question, questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa. He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. All right. Umbario would be delicious roasted, wouldn't he? Roasted mushrooms. Just keep going up. Up, up, up. The door's open. Let's see now. Should probably check this here. I heard that this town was originally founded by thieves from the desert. It's a pretty mysterious town. All kinds of stories. Oh, I've checked this one before. Hang on. Uh, wrong one. I'm gonna need Parrot Carry here in a second. You got a letter. There we go. Why, hello there, friend. Hey, nice guy. We meet again. Glad you found me. Do 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 do. Look who it is. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard th that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you're on an important journey. So I will tell you the secrets. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. Got the Pulse Stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. But find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Alright. Mario's a nice guy. He tips his, his plumber hat at Milady Peach. The closer you get to the ruins, fast Pulse Stone. What am I doing? I want to tattle him. Da da da. Da 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 da. That has to be the Zelda effect. That's what they're trying to do right there. That it, it's even if it wasn't obvious before, it's definitely a Zelda reference. Sheik revealed his true self. I guess that means he's the boss everyone talks about. Oh, I was expecting Mustafa to look a lot cooler. Okay, okay, Goombario. I'm getting a little tired of you um talking about everybody's appearance. Probably the only person on earth that bother that's bothering the tattle anybody in this game. Do. Da -da -da -da. All right, now let's go get to Dry Dry Ruins now. Wonder is he got the? We should be near Dry Dry Outpost, boy. After the endless sands of this desert, it'll be nice to put our feet up in town for a while. 
I vaguely remember the way to, uh, let's see, what, I, I, yeah, this happens now. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember the direction you're supposed to go in order to uh, reach the ruins. Oh boy, that certainly helped, didn't it? Goombario can just hurt now. Not today, bandit. Bandits! Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four. If there's too little rain, the, the cacti will dry up. Did you know that? I don't need the dusty hammer anymore, obviously. Let's see. I think it's starting to beep in faster there. No, this isn't it. I need to go up again. Don't fully recall. It's been forever since I looked for this. Is it over? I'm at the top part of the desert now. Hmm. There it is. Okay. It was in the top. I thought it was like second from the top. Wow. The ruins, they've revealed themselves. You can find the block that crashes the game if you hit it for 20 years. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I had plans after this stream, so that won't be happening. What's going on? Has he done it? He's found the secret of the ruins. Dun, 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 dun. They've been revealed. And they're spooky looking, aren't they? Dun, dun. So, if they're so secret, how did Bowser get, like, one of his followers in there? I've never really understood that. I don't think they ever care to try and address it or what. All right. He digged. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. And suddenly, it's, it's, uh, daytime outside. Great attention to detail there. Bleh, bleh. I'm the huge, stare, scary Tootin Koopa, remorseless king of the desert, who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands. Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. Oh yeah, he does have the wish-granting wand. Alright. So, we've been going for over two hours. Get a bit tired. I think now's probably a good point to... Uh, and the stream, oof. Next time we can uh, do it. We can do it. Yeah, do the dungeon. But anyway, for now, I think now is a good point. I'm getting kind of tired. I want to wrap this up and get some food. Oh, but I'm still having a blast with this game. You know, there's still a technical difficulties, but hey, it's work. It works, and it's great. But anyways, for the YouTube audience, hope you're all still enjoying this, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.